My meaning was, don't you want to know all information about this lady of the lake before you bend a knee? That is all. No. But you answered because it. I might not bend my knee in the same way that they do. I see. Faith's a personal thing. Laws or rules that are written are open to interpretation by everybody that reads them. That's what I thought as well. You can read the same book and have completely different meaning from its text. Hmm. Now that sort do. of thinking is what led me up north. <clears throat> Sorry. No, it's okay. I do understand. My trip up there maybe left me with a slightly different impression to you. I don't need to know everything. It's not my business to know everything. How can you make proper decisions if you do not know all the information, though? Oh, I wasn't talking about battle information. I was talking about personal choices. That it still works there, too, though. Not really. Not for me. It's more a case of this is how I feel. This is what I feel in my heart is the right thing to do. If information comes along that changes my perspective, then that doesn't mean that I was wrong in the first place means I was maybe not quite ready to make that choice. We all grow. We all find out more information on a daily basis and all we can do is adjust to that. But if we're constantly seeking, maybe we're not seeing the answers that are right in front of us. Mm, maybe not. Thank you for answering my questions and for everything. You're welcome. Might not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. I'm glad it does. I Maybe asked... one day things make sense. Yes, indeed. All I can tell you is I asked a very important question and I was given the answer. Which was? That's a conversation for another day, I think. Okay. I look forward to it. I must take my leave and rest now. Rest well. Thank you. I shall see you later. I hope. I should be around. If no bounty hunters sneak in and take my head in the meanwhile. You can close the door. There's an extra line of defense if you wish. It's fine. I like really to see them. Sir Giles, because I know what's coming. I understand. He thinks that I'm so naive. Mm -hmm. But I understand. Just very protective of people, I think. However misguided, sometimes that could be. Yeah, I'm, I am sorry I'm giving him such trouble, seemingly. I did not mean to. I think it rather keeps him on his toes a little. Not necessarily a bad thing. Well, in that case, maybe I'll just tone it down a little. Yes, that might be advisable. I think I've sussed him enough for a couple of days. I don't think the poor man can take much more. I just have a hard time that I view as kissing other people's asses. Ah, uh, well, it's not necessarily doing that. Mm. Just more mutual understanding, perhaps. When, when they expect it, it is. Ah, uh, well, I see what you mean. They are very noble. Take their word above all else. 
I sometimes fail to see the little intricacies of the conversation other than beyond that. <laughs> yeah, We're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> yes, I can tell you are, aren't you? Good night, Marilyn. Talk later. Good night, Zedeka. Gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Just saying hello. No. <laughs> Is uh, Zedeka okay? Going to sleep for a while. Uh, she's still your friend. Working on figuring that out. Certainly more of my friend than she was a few weeks ago. We do have to be careful. Not getting my shoes wet again. Is it not? Why? It keeps you on your toes, makes you keep up a little quicker. Okay, I'm going to figure things out. Is there anything that I can help you with? It's a little conflicted. About what? Well, the conversations I have with her, my friend again, others. Can you remember everything that happened? Unfortunately, it would be so for some time. These memories will be hard to forget. I sense so much remorse. Questioning. Then to run the verdict of the trial when we finish it. Depends on her future, does it not? It does. But he would have forgiven her anything. Yes, I knew Malachi, and although he was a dark elf, he was not your typical dark elf that I am used to. Or gentleman. I could give on it. Cheeky would be the word I used. <laughs> but he did not deserve a death like this. No, he did not. None of them did.
Either way, she's going to have to answer for her crimes. Down to the judges to decide how, I suppose. Concerned about this one called Alexander that came calling. Seems Alexander may be one of Stitcher's personalities. What do you mean? There's a note in the tavern. He left. Came from the Stitch fellow. Maybe reading it will enlighten us a little more. Using me, but you might make more sense of it than I. Very well. Try not to fly. Well, it was a bit of a lonely walk. <laughs> Come on now, it wasn't that far. A lot further than just over there. <gasps> It's only a bit of water, my lady. Ah, yuck. You got your shoes ready, kind of. I'm wearing totally the wrong type of shoes for this. But you learned so relevantly, my lady. Thank you. My shoes disagree. Maybe your ankles. My ankles are fine. More concerned with the silk on the shoes. Well, maybe I should get a small bridge made across there, make it easier. Hmm, that would be beneficial. I'll uh, get it looked into. Now, you have noticed I've placed extra defences and troops around. I have noticed. Hope that they spot these bloody birds. <laughs> Exterminator might be needed. Oh, yes, there's one other piece of information that we need to tell you. Oh? Yes. While you was uh, meditating, you uh, spoke to the bird lady. The little one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Spoke to her as in she was human? Yes, yeah, she came purposely to visit and speak with us. Did she not, Master Egan? Uh, she did, yeah. Excellent. What did she have to say? Well, she wanted to know why we were well, uh, both of her forms, shall we say, it's like two minds in one, so to speak. The two forms and they both understand is what I'm understanding. They wanted to know why we were shooting at ravens. Ah, uh, and did you explain? Yes, I did. And I also apologised if any arrows had uh, been fired in her direction. Uh, she is understanding and uh, she has, uh, well, I explained to her as long as she identifies herself in the way that we know, then uh, she should be all right. But she did warn us about going near her home. That we are not to touch her children. Okay. All right. I know and where she lives. And Zedica apologies for our shooting arrow as well. Okay. Do you know where her home is? I've come oh. across it. Um. Do you hear anything? I'm lost. Oh hello. oh, hello, young one. Una. Oh, hello. hello. It's food in the tavern if you're hungry. Okay, thank you. You're all right. Well, we might as well retire back inside, oh. I suppose. Uh, 
Lions. <laughs> that has to be the most awkward hug I ever have to give, Luna. It's a good job we adore you. <laughs> no, it wasn't awkward. You just made it awkward. No, it's an awkward position for me to be in. Oh. Do we just close the door on the gentleman? Maybe. Uh, uh, <laughs> the one straight in my face. Where did Sir Giles go? Ah, uh, he's down over there. He needs to read this note. I think he's lost in his own thoughts. So what happened last night? I, I suddenly had to take a nap, I think. Or something. Well, <laughs> where, where, when did you take a nap? I was uh, sitting next to Tara in the middle of her talking. Oh. About... Yeah. Well, we got attacked and they took Zedica. What? Who? And I why? Don't... I don't know. Some kind of demonic being is working for some kind of chaos god. They brought her back. She's safe. She's fine. But. Everybody's a little on edge. They brought her back? Yes, they wanted something from her that was inside her, apparently. They took it and then brought her back to us. Huh. Okay. Yes, we're all very confused, too. I'm glad she's okay. Where is she? She's sleeping. She's actually in... The room that you and Miss Terra were sleeping in. With Miss Terra. Okay. I left them there together last night. After she was taken and brought back, I think the Giles was feeling a little bit more hospitable. So he removed her from the cell and put her up there. Good. Wait, so who won the... We don't know. We had to adjourn it because, you know, temple walls blown down and demons taking oh, yeah. defendants and such. That makes sense. Well, I missed a lot. I'm sorry. It's okay. These things happen. Don't worry about it. I have a note for... Zedica too. Okay. So I gotta give it to her when she wakes back up. Alright. Sit and eat. We're all going to need our strength, I think. If we um, if there's gonna be another attack later, we try to win. Thank you. You're welcome. Just stop practicing your jousting skills, Egan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I really don't want to think about that one. <laughs> no, you should at least try. You know I'm going to be so bad at it, you know that. I have no clue how to even ride a horse, so... Mm-hmm. Same. Besides, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to take part at this moment. I think I should probably just enjoy watching you all do it. You can all make fools of yourselves <laughs> instead. Jousting? Yes, there's going to be a jousting yeah. tournament. And I think fighting oh. an archery. Uh, I think Sir Giles is planning for a couple of days. Ooh. I'll just dress up in my finest clothes and stand there and watch you all make fools of yourselves. Oh my God. I might join in with the archery, who knows. I see, it'd probably be fascinating. <laughs> I think it's a much needed stress release. Yeah. 
but I'm I'm much better on the ground than I mean on the north. Pretty Try good. them all anyway. You never know your look, right? True, dear. You're right there. <laughs> if all else fails, we'll all have a bloody good laugh out of it. Mm-hmm. She'll make sure I have plenty of the doctor's bruise cream on hand. <laughs> You're probably gonna need a lot of that. Probably. <laughs> need to head home at some point. I need to get that concoction the doctor made for my hair. Sorry about that. I had to uh, get that a few things. No problem. The note that she gave us is here on the table. Rather interesting read. Yes, that's what I thought. He's concerned that this Alexander that came here may be the same Alexander mentioned in the note. He doesn't mention much about him. Well, he's unhinged, that's clear. There is certainly something about two personalities, I would say. Oh no, Stitch has more than two. We have no mention of two, more than two in the note. Uh, I've met him, remember? Had conversations with himself. Trial, was he, not? he was at the trial, and this is another concern of hers. Yeah. Well, she shall have no fear as long as she is here. I may well defend all those with inside the fortress in the town. Wondering what he wants up there with that lack of fortress. Yeah, it's very strange. I think he called this a lake, but I think he was talking about the pond. Hmm. Hardly big enough to even be called a pond, never mind a lake, but anyway. <laughs> yes, that's why I was confused, because I don't know of no lake up in the north. People who speak different languages use words interchangeably when they should not, though. Well, maybe. All we can do is be vigilant. Indeed. And probably add his name to the list of uh, enemies that we do have now. Perhaps. Certainly on the list of those to keep a close bloody eye on. Well. We can always hope that whatever he attempts to do backfires and uh, resolves the problem for us. Well, this is true. I wouldn't want to add any people to the enemy list. They hadn't already uh, moved against us, but we do need to keep an eye on him. We must remember, although we may have broken the forces of the dark blood god, we do not know how many of the followers of Tizos there are in the land, as they remain hidden and mm -hmm. secretive. Still and have if they are no now orders. allies with the Blood God's survivors, that will cause even more of a problem, as I've already explained. I understand. But these are not words that we should be speaking about inside the tavern. It's my short answers. Very well. So how are you today, little one? I'm good. I I'm just worried about Tara. I hope she's okay. Oh, I'm sure how are she'll you doing? be fine. I'm doing well, thank you. You travelled here alone, did you? Um, I slept here. Ah, yes. If that's okay. 
No, it's not a problem. Okay. I try not to travel anywhere alone anymore. Very wise. Yes, especially with the reports of the marauders as far south and further. I am going to need to head home in a little while. I need to get this tonic that the doctor gave me. Probably change my clothes too. Luna, would you be available to travel? I don't want to yeah. leave Derica unguarded. Very good. I have some duties that I need to attend to, and uh, Master Egan, I'm sure, can guard you, help guard duties for the rest of the guards. I'm going to go and disguise myself before we travel. Oh, Am I traveling with you or staying here? I know you can, you can. I mean, if you want to come with me while I get changed, I have no problem with that. Or I can come back in a moment when I've changed. You finish your breakfast. Okay. 